Howdy folks, Hell Correct here. I'm just showing you off a little bit of the collection. I was uh, just thinking, you know, his Palmer uh, from Heresy Productions, he was asking a question about Battletech and eras and all that. And I just like, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes to basically tell somebody that's never really understood what the game's about. And just you know you see the mechs and the miniatures you know you're like oh it looks so exciting well it is exciting and uh, I've been playing this game for since the 80s and there is a large collection of books this is not even all of them I don't know if you can see all of them. Yeah. and I just want to go through a, a few of these just to give you an idea if you're looking into the games what to expect and what your future might entail. Uh, so a lot of these books are not necessary. A uh, few of them are, like the main rule book right here. You now, if you're going to start the game off, you start off with the main rule book. Now, if you're lucky enough, when they come out with a box set, you know they'll you, come with a small pamphlet like a rule book, which will get you started. But you're going to need a rule book. And this will have all the rules in it. It's a really cool book. It's full of all kinds of fluff and everything else in there. And it tells you how things work, you know, how you do stuff from the get go. And, you know, a little bit of history of some units uh, spread throughout this whole thing. It is a awesome book. And this is done by Catalyst Game. They even tell you how to paint a match from start. You know, it's like they're bare metal and you end up with something that's, you know, really cool in the end. You know, battle infantry. and um, It's a really nice book. You know, it's done by Catalyst Games. Now, that's what you're going to need to start off is a rule book. Necessary. All right, so there's, that's what you're going to be looking at. Let's put that here for the moment. Move my cans out of the way here. All right, now there's eras. Now we'll just start with these books right here. These are the technical readouts. Nice big pile of technical readouts, which has all of the mechs in them. Um, now the, the current game is done by Catalyst. See, FASA, FASA, however you want to pronounce it, um sold out to another company back in around 2000 i think it was and is now owned basically by tops you now those guys and they catalyst has a uh license to produce the game and they're doing a pretty good job for and it, there was an end time in there where it was fan pro did some stuff and they kind of screwed the pooch you know, made it kind of just go like, what the hell are they doing? But, you know, those of us that have been around for a while, it's like, fine, you just kind of do that. We're just continuing on with the older edition of stuff until you figure out what you're doing. And then Catalyst came along. These bunch of great guys. If you ever meet them at the convention and, you know, a lot of times they're at Origins and uh, um, Gen Con and you get to talk to them and stuff, you know, great group guys. Now, let's just go through this. Uh, the original era, this is the Star League book, the 2750. Uh, you have a lot of what they call the Star League, which was the uh, great time when uh, all of the, uh, you had basically an empire that was ruled, and you had all the different houses were subsections of it, but you had an overall ruling uh, group. And there was lots of peace going on until uh, Stephen Amaris took over and the usurper and the next thing you know, you got a giant civil war and the usurper was taken down, he won, lost everything. And then, you know, in the readout, you can see, you can tell you all the information about it, a little bit of history, capabilities, and a nice little picture with his weapon systems on it. And, uh, that's the Star League stuff. And then, but after the Civil War, 
uh, Kerensky, General Kerensky, he decided that he had enough of the uh, inner sphere and left. A whole bunch of the, uh, um, basically the armies, uh, large faction of them, let's say, I think about 70% of them, left. Just disappeared off into the void. Not to be seen or heard again for a long time. That was 2750 basically. And so they disappeared. So that's that book. That's the Star League book. We'll just put that off to the side. All right. Uh, then you have the Succession Wars, which all the houses, the five houses they fight. You have House Steiner, you have House Davian, uh, Karita, Merrick, and Lyle. You know, they were fighting out, they're trying to take over, you know, create a new Star League. But each house didn't have the oomph to do it all, so it was like border wars, border skirmishing going on for all that time. And a great time if you're a pilot, a mercenary, so that you're, you know, you're always working, you know, job security. Because, <laughs> you know, the other, somebody in the house is, or some planet, or somebody wants something from their neighbor, so you're always working. And in the uh, third 25, you know, it's with your common mechs. You know, technology has kind of degraded a little bit since the Star League. But mechs are mechs and they still work. But the technology is slightly degraded down so they're not as good as they were in the Star League. When somebody left and took most of the technology with them. So, things work. All right, so you got a nice little technical readout of all the stuff that's in there. That's the 3025. Uh, when we're playing our campaigns, we always play 3025 through 3055. You know, if we're playing mercenaries, you know, we build a mercenary company, start from like a lance size, and we build up campaign, 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 doing missions here, missions there. And you're making money and you're salvaging mechs and tanks and pretty soon you end up with a regiment or more and uh, so in the 30 40 year time frame that you're playing the game in the game scale you end up becoming a force to be reckoned with by yourself through the campaign uh, technical readout this is for vehicles and personnel more tech stuff on basically infantry weapons that you can throw into the game that kind of stuff there's always you know portable flamers for infantry flamers machine guns mortars ppcs uh, rocket packs stuff that hurts max found in this book of the um, 3026. Very good if you're playing a mercenary and if you want some infantry and mech support or tank support. You know, I know uh, Fritz 40k, he uh, doesn't subscribe to me, but this is the, he was talking in a video the other day. This is a book he might want to look into if you ever seen a video of mine. Uh, technical, another Battletech technical readout from FASA. More of the stuff I've just but it's telling you uh, combat values of everything and a little bit more stuff and it's helpful in for building a campaign. And then this is the Catalyst version. They went and kind of sped up the process and consolidated some of the stuff into the 3039 book. So if you get your hand on the other ones I showed you, they're handy too. But a lot of the same stuff that's in those books is found in this book, the 3039. And even the unseen, the ones that, you know, they got a lawsuit and uh, had to change the look of their mechs. Those are the unseens. So those of us that played for a long time have a whole bunch of unseen mechs compared to everybody else because... Uh, I'm not even sure what the heck that stuff's called. I never heard about it until the uh, lawsuit. I guess their the imagery of their mechs look too much like some Japanese um, anime. I don't watch anime. So there's that book. <clears throat> and you have the prototypes, same mechs, but different prototypes of them. You know, individuals doing some fancy dancy work trying to figure out how to make things work. Here's the f 
Then we move into the 3050. Uh, this is the return of Kerensky. Yeah, you remember I told you about that before. All right, Kerensky left. F created this little group called the clans, you know, I'll just give you the abbreviated. He set them up into a whole bunch of clans. They, uh, the whole idea was that we organize and when we, they go back and cleanse the inner sphere and take back over and they, they uh, with these clans. Uh, that's clan ghost bear symbol right there on there. You've seen some of the mechs I made before, painted up the ghost bears. And that is a mad cat. And in 3050, basically, they reinvaded the inner sphere. What tech mechs, the technology on these guys was far, it's like here is the inner sphere, here's clan up here. Or technology wise, they they kept their Star League stuff and advanced the tech even more, made it even better. And suddenly they're pounding the crap when they come back, and Inner Sphere doesn't even know what hit them. It's like a, a right and a left hook. Didn't see them hairmakers coming in. They got their butts kicked around a bit. So that is an exciting era to play in too. So you're taking 3039 tech facing 3050 tech. Let me tell you, these guys can rip you up a new one, but they're not, you know, they're not invincible behemoths. If you go equal point wise, you can do it. And here's the Catalyst version of the same book, the 3050, upgraded. You know, a lot of the mechs that are in the 3039 are now upgraded. Personally, both are handy. That's why I got them sitting here. Old tech stuff, new tech stuff, good books. Good books to have around. And then you got the 3055 book era. This is kind of like when a lot of times when we start finishing off our campaigns, this is about the extent of uh, uh, where we go. Let's see here. Uh, 70 Wrath. There we go. Remember the mech I just put out in the video? The Grim Reaper, there it is. Technical readout for it. Tells you everything all about it, what weapons it carries, etc. 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 This is the Fossa version. And I don't know if we have, nope, we don't have the Catalyst version of it. Many of these days I'll make a get one. Alright, so there's that. Then in 3058, you got more new mechs. Uh, showing up you know this is like the a lot of the second line mech stuff's in here second line means that they're mechs that are used by the all right the clans their warriors are genetically engineered and then they go through a weaning process so only the best of the best of the best survive and that is their pilot so they they're just far and above everybody else when it comes to ability and then at 3058, you have the inner spheres get, come out with new because they capture technology and they were trying to replicate it and then also replicate some better mechs. So they're trying really hard to um, accelerate the programs of creating better equipment to face the clans because there's a peace treaty at the Battle of uh, Tukiad and they stopped the clans with a um, trial of possession for the planet. And if the clans lost the battle, they would stop the war invasion for a certain period of time. And they lost due to, you know, overwhelming uh, ComGuard came in, you know, which is the guys that have all the technology that runs the hyperpulse generators. So they are the ones that be able to send information from plant to plant to plant instantly. Well, they had their own battle mech forces and they were able to stop the clans so it was a peace treaty so during this time of the peace treaty or ceasefire basically the interfere is like just doing everything they can to accelerate themselves up so they can face the new invasion when the time comes and then 3060 another fossa book um, you're gonna have um everything you know new mechs new designs again as they're experimenting you name it yeah it's just that right there 
And then 3067, it, once again, this is a fan pro book. I don't even know if the, any of these mechs are even available, to be honest with you. Um, never really paid much attention to it. So, that is that book. That's the era we don't like to talk about. It doesn't exist. And then there's 3075 uh, era. 3085 era. This is where you have, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the one I got. That's actually signed by one of the artists. Um, the Com Guard had a civil war, and then uh, Word of Blake broke off with them. So you had Com Guard, Word of Blake having a civil war, and some of these books represent the civil war that's going on. And then there's a 3045, and then 30 or 3145, 3150. I don't know. I must have must be upstairs. My son's probably reading it. Um, so we got that book. I don't even have any mechs. This is the newer stuff, so they're progressively moving the uh, the stuff forward. So the game isn't stagnant like some other game systems you play. All right, rule books. That's the main rule book. That's a necessity. Can't live without that one. That tells you how things work. But some of these other books, they're not necessary. They're just kind of handy to have. You got campaign operations. So if you're playing a game and you want to run a campaign, like playing as a merc, this tells you a lot of the information on how to do it. It's not necessary, but it's handy. All right. Another handy book, not necessary, it is a technical manual. You know, this tells you all about all the weapon systems on board, each mech, stuff like that. Uh, with a few more extra rules, it's not really you call a necessary book, but it's kind of handy. And then you got this beastly book, the uh, strategic operations, another book. Um, not necessary. The year before, when they, yeah, it's like. Award winners, yeah. Origins was there when I got the award. Um, so getting right there. You guys are cheering. They're like, whoo, free pizza. Um, uh, once again, more information, how to do stuff, how to create stuff for your game. Handy book. And then Tactical Operations, another beastly book. Nice and thick and heavy. Yeah. Some people like to say that uh, you can get complicated with that other game that's made from a company called GW. Um, another book, handy dandy book, tells you all kinds of stuff if you want to read through all the rules that go with it, how to use things. Not necessary, you don't have to use it. It's just, it's kind of like the first rule book is your basic and some slightly advanced rules and this stuff, it just adds on more stuff. There. Stuff. Alright. Uh, another book, set of books. Let's dig these buttons out. Alright. Uh, this is just like your fluff books. You got your reunificate, Reunification War historical book from Catalyst. This tells you history, what's going on, campaigns in the Air and Sphere, Liberation Tariff. Uh, this is part of the uh, war during the Star League. How things ripped apart. That's probably a picture of uh, Kerensky and his Orion. Lots of good fluff. So if you're a fluff monster, they got fluff galore. Lots of books. Yeah, Liberation of Terror, book one, same thing. All right, lots more fluff. Just you want to keep up. Combat manual, mercenaries. Oh yeah, if you playing mercenaries. All the different kind of mercenary groups, building force stuff, basic mechs to start with, how much uh, it's going to cost you to buy them. You know, this is the new book from Catalyst, handy dandy. First Succession War, another handy book, just lots of fluff if you're a fluff monster. So, you got it covered here. Operation Con Klondike, another book of fluff telling you about what's going on in, in that operation. Star League Defense Force. Star League Defense Force. Field Manual. All about all the army groups that are in there. Just tells you group by core, arm. 
All right. So what division? Regiment, division, corps, army. Has it all broke down for the entire Star League force. There you go. And then <clears throat> we have some more books, but these are all the old, uh, here's a cool thing. There's a picture of a griffin that just got wiped out by a tank. Cool stuff. So an old mercenary book, 3055 book, Lutheran, McCarn's Armored Cab book, you name it, it's in there. These are all old Fossa books, old stuff from like the 80s. Wolves Dragoons, old magazines, you name it. It is all available. It's all out there. There's all kinds of books to go with it. So I hope that big pile of stuff cleared some of the thoughts and stuff that you may have. But this is one heck of a fun game. And But the only things you really need to get started is the main rule book, a 3039 book, which is the new Catalos one, and a 3050. And that should clear up pretty much everything you need need to get started and to a long succession of playing this game. This is Hellcrix. I hope this cleared up some of the stuff about the game. You guys have a great day.